forest and then you'll stop having forest fires, dumb fucks. I mean, you guys are Canadians, you're supposed to be smarter than, you know, everyone else. Yeah, I'm resetting. Jesus Christ. No, it was lightning. So lightning struck a forest. It starts igniting a tree and then causes a wildfire in BC. And then smoke goes to Alberta. Yeah, that's just bad RNG, essentially. You guys have... Uh, Canada has bad lightning and thunder RNG. Sorry, man. GG's. No re. What's up, Pummel? Hope you're having a great day today. A couple weeks ago, there was a storm that had like 20,000 lightning strikes across BC and set it on fire pretty good. Fuck. Did not know about the, about the thunder. Oh. Body still useless from the vaccine? God damn it. Wait, weren't the... I thought the symptoms were supposed to go away like... In like a couple days or a week? You're still having symptoms? The hottest temperature on Earth was recorded in a small town in BC. Two days later, it was burned. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I guess at a certain point, the heat will just literally burn the houses down. Or melt, even. Wait, what's worse, burning or melting? Yeah, this is pretty crazy. Because the last place you'd expect hot temperatures is Canada. Energies from two days to a week. I think I got the shittier end. Gonna be four days tomorrow. Oh yeah, you got the shit end of the stick. Your arm hurts and you feel dizzy. But I'm out laboring in the heat. That's right, just tough it out, face suffer. No one gives a fuck how you feel. Just go back to work. Deal with your symptoms like a man. Through quiet desperation. You got the AstraZeneca, known for having the shittiest side effects. Is like, why bother? Like, why bother perfecting it when there's enough competitors? You got the Pfizer, you got the Moderna, you got the Johnson & Johnson, you got the... Whatever the else fuck is. That's a bad one. Oh, yeah, you got the Pfizer. I guess they couldn't really like rush perfection of the vaccine because it was it was more of a numbers game. Like there's a lot of people infected, so just get the vaccine out as quickly as possible. Fuck the side effects. We'll you know just perfect it as we go along. Canada donated all its Astra because it sucks. Good job, Canada. Oh, yeah, like Goodwill, yeah, essentially. Third world country problems only having AZ vaccines because nobody else wants it. That must be like such a spin to the face. Like, not only are they getting it because people are donating, but they're not even getting the good vaccines. Like, <laughs> just like, just like shit on them, why don't you? 
You think the clothes suck, but some other some other sucker wants them. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's not entirely true. I've gotten the majority of my awesome clothes from from places like Goodwill or like thrift stores. Because I always have the most random-ass collection of clothes. So that's not always the truth. In our case, someone wants it too, but it's better than being naked, I guess. I mean, it's definitely better than being naked, because if you got no clothes on, then your, your wang just, hate, just hangs out there. Subject to the elements of a nature. Which is more painful, so... Yeah, clothes is definitely better. Oh yeah, and it's fun sometimes because you never know what you're going to get. Also, it's much cheaper too. Also, is it just me, Chad, or do do you guys feel more naked when you're not wearing... Like, okay, let's say you have on, uh, like, all all the normal articles, like a shirt, pants, underwear, socks, shoes, right? Like, normal articles of clothing. Why is it that I feel more naked when I don't have pants on as opposed to not having a shirt on? Does anyone else get that feeling? Like, if I have, if I have shirt, underwear and s socks and shoes. I feel more naked as opposed to if I had shoes, socks, and pants. Is that just me? Because it's kind of normalized for guys to be shirtless rather than pantsless? Is it? I mean, e e I feel like even if it was normalized, everyone else is doing it, I, f I still feel so, like, exposed. Because you got yoked, ebony, Heclean traits. What the fuck are those words you just typed? Please speak English, face. Even if it was normalized, I'd, st I'd still feel, like, so exposed. Guys go out being topless all the time, right? Yeah. Oh, Hercules, okay. Thank you for speaking English. Hercules, but black. Thank you. Thanks. I don't think it's just about it being normalized. It's just the sense of how much of you is exposed. Maybe if it was normalized, I, I wouldn't feel the same way, but... Oh yeah, I won unintended. I wasn't even paying attention to the game. I was just mashing A because I was so focused on this one conversation. I really needed some, like, perspective here. I thought I was the only one who had this feeling. Nah, yeah, it's, it's just, it still feels weird. Yeah, it's more of that pummel luck. The RNG is, a uh, is blessed by your presence. Although I'm still deep in the red. That sounds like slang for having sex with a girl who's on her period. Instead of deep in the pink, you're deep in the red. Almost dropped my controller. Upload it to Urban Dictionary? Okay, I'll do that after the stream. I'll make a... Make a new definition. Okay, two minutes behind, but, um... I'll green split on the next one. On the next split.
It also reminds me of that Playboy Cardi song, um, Whole Lot of Red. I, s I don't know what the song's about, but he talks about being in a lot of red, which is, is either blood or some red thing. Damn it, I actually wanted to play Bumper Ball, so I kind of missed that game. Oh yes, the penis track. The dick race. Good times, good times. I remember this is one of the this is one of the pieces of evidence I used for that video about how Mario Party 2 is turning people gay because the racetracks in this game are shaped like dicks and asses. Oh, she got fucking blasted out. Okay, I'll be red. I mean, I won't be red. I'll be green next split. The next one will be green. Never mind. It won't be. What's up, chicken man? Hope you're having a great day today. Hope everything's going well. Okay, so if, it, if I have five, I'm fucked either way. Either it's a duel or a Bowser space, so. Not bad. I'm having a good day, man. Thanks. In terms of a speed run, this is kind of dog shit. No, I didn't stream yesterday. I used yesterday to prep for a new game. I'm also speed running. That I'm going to showcase today because it's variety hour. I'm playing four games today. What game? It's a it's an old indie title I used to play on my Wii called the Fluidity. The gla uh, pff, the claim, the game that I played when I was much younger it blew my fucking mind. And as it turns out, there's a somewhat dead speedrunner presence for that game, so I want to play it. Yep. Always bringing out that good old content. Not only is it just one game, but sometimes I do variety. You never know. Yeah, but it's a, it's a very old indie game I used to play, and I loved it so much, so I want to speedrun it as well. And I was using yesterday to develop the splits and learn the basic route. It's just going to be a, a completion run just to do the run and put a time down, and then I'll perfect it later. Yeah, fluidity. It's, it's a game about being um, a, l a little puddle of water, and you, ha you have to navigate a book that's being infected, uh, infected with ink splatter everywhere, and you got to clean it up. I still... I am banned, but I'll be unbanned from live streaming on TikTok at 3 o'clock. I checked the time. It said you'll be unbanned at 15.07, which is, I think, like, 24-hour time for 3 o'clock. So, 3 o'clock, I can start streaming on TikTok again. Which is kind of poggers. Holy shit, how am I two minutes in? Seven. Oh, wait, I didn't split. It's my seventh turn. It's the seventh turn. I still don't know why I was banned. It said community guideline strike. The only two things that happened before the ban was was saying the R word and making fun of British people. So unless TikTok is secretly, secretly controlled by the Chinese, which is secretly con con controlled by the British, I don't know. There must have been the R word thing. There must have been a bot, uh, a bot pickup. How far is three o'clock? Uh, it's gonna be in about three hours. 
Yeah, it probably was the R word. It's... Oh, back from therapy. Nice. Hope it went well. It was a good therapy session. No, not a <laughs> not not the rapist therapist. I can see how you, you'd be confused, but no. Exactly. Wait, face up. Wait, is he talking about therapist or rapist in terms of the R word? No, the R word wasn't rape. It was retard. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the therapist part. No, it was that R word. I thought face up was talking about therapist and making fun of how therapist is the rapist if you put a space in the middle. Yeah, and it's not like we—it's not like we were using the R word for like, you know, derogatory sense. Someone literally just typed it, and I said the word. But maybe like the the audio bot on TikTok picked it up and said, "Oh, community guideline." So it's like, okay, what the fuck? And then after that, I made fun of British people, <laughs> and then I got banned. So I like to believe it was I got banned because I was making fun of British people, because that that would have been much funnier. The French use it for telling you to slow down. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Wait. I'm on my... Ninth turn? Dude, my splits are so fucked. I... Ninth turn. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I was making fun of the British in it. I just want to believe, like, deep down, whatever secret mod was in the stream at the time, he was British and he took offense to what I said, like, making a mocking British accent, and then just banned me for a whole week. God damn it, come on. There we go. My old heavy truck had engine retard brakes. Yeah, which means to slow down. True. Okay, I don't... I think I'm fucking up my splits here. I'm so... Ah, fuck, whatever. I'll, I'll keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> Ten. Okay, I'm on my tenth turn. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anymore. I, I just don't know. Too busy talking about losing time and breaks and British people. It's it's just too confusing. Half the chat on this stream is about British people. I don't know why we always go back to just British people or making fun of them. Maybe because it's just too easy. Their their accent is just too easy to mock. I don't know. And if I do have any British viewers or any British viewers see this, I obviously don't hate England. England is pretty pog champ. The the Queen, she's awesome. You know, it's just too easy to to make fun of you people because you know British. It's funny accent okay my sp okay my splits are correct I'm on the last 10 turns number 11 All right, this should be good England is not pog okay never mind it's not pog it's poggers which means it's even better
Damn it, dude, swing sideways. What are you doing? Why is he only hitting down? Hit side, you can knock out both of them, man. Okay, yeah, I don't know how... I seriously think I fucked up my split somewhere because... I was suddenly behind 2 minutes and then a minute. 25 seconds and then saving 3 minutes on a gold. It's... Either way, I'm just keep going because the overall timer is correct. Damn it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna land on a duel or a battle. God damn it. I swear, if this gold run right now dies because of the clut of the choke algorithm towards the end, I'm gonna be not happy. Oh shit. This run is too good to die. I got a phone interview at a local esports place here. Nice. I mean, I'll probably red split later on, but I just wanted to like, to be that the, the defining moment this run actually dies because this run is pretty good. Are you looking to work in esports, Lux? Don't worry, I took care of the Mafia safe house lawn. Good on you, man. If there's anything the Mafia needs, it's good lawn care. You watch Valorant as well? well no, no wonder you're in therapy. You play Valorant. Now it makes sense. And you enjoy Valorant content. Alright, lost some time. Yeah, Lux, Valorant is a shit game. Okay. Almost as bad as League of Legends. Don't question mark me. Five years and only ever seen slight signs of life. They pay the bills, the neighbor says, big dudes show up once in a blue moon. So it's a quiet house, and the only people who reside in that house are giant dudes. I bet they're filming gay porn in there. Deep in your heart, Lux, you know Valorant sucks. 
you just don't want to admit it to yourself for some reason. If she lands on it, I swear on your Jesus Christ. Please hit Bowser's chance time. Okay. Alright, Chad, this is where it happens. The choke algorithm has been activated, and now this run will die. Another neighbor is questioning me about who lives there now. Just tell him it's a bunch of big dudes who move in once in a while to make some some hot porn. I bet they'll believe you. Christ, I lost so much time because of one fucking Bowser space. Oh god, yep, two minute sacrifice, why not? Just to make up for CPU's fuck ups. Motherfucker. Okay, nice. Wait, why not? The only communications about my fee, no questions asked. Face stuffer, the note is meant for them. Why not just give it to them? Are you afraid that if you go up and knock on the door, they'll invite you to a to a porn shoot? And then you're surrounded by a bunch of burly dudes? Oh, you left at the door. Okay, nice. Oh, to a murder. Right. I mean, it could be, or, you know, something else. They wanted your phone number, but you said no. <laughs> Face, how else are they supposed to get in contact with you about another potential lawn care job if they don't have your phone number? They need your contact info, dude. And your address, and your social security number, and, you know, nearby relatives. Oh, the owners. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I don't have enough anyway. This is much worse. There was a fire next door, I guess. And now people are looking for this guy, but he took the note so he knows 
So he knows and doesn't care. Because probably mafia shit. Oh, they burned down the house for like a... Because that, that house was a residence of a snitch. Maybe. Some some rat. Almost, almost uh, went to the police. So they took care of him. Yeah. Don't worry, face suffer. If they if they come after you, you know nothing. You never seen nothing. You're just a lawn guy. All right. Wait, face suffer. Would you take up a lawn care job for the mafia? Like, let's say, um, let's say there's a Escobar the second, or you know, similar type like that, and he hires you on retainer for his permanent lawn care, and he pay and he pays you out the ass for simple lawn care. Would you take it? Yeah? Okay. Yep, no questions asked. Just don't ask questions. Although, face offer, if you do get that opportunity, just remember one thing. Do not sleep with the drug dealer's bot, uh, the drug dealer's daughter, okay? Because if you do, you may be taking care of the lawn, but then he might put you in the lawn. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, be careful, man. Yeah. You keep that, you keep that wiener in your pants, your head down onto the grass, and just do your job. Okay, I've lost a substantial substantial amount of time since having a four minute lead. Uh, if I don't fuck up anywhere. And there's no random event land uh, event spaces landing that happen, fuck. This should PB. Maybe not world record, but at least a PB. Cause I really needed that four minute time save. Yoshi, you dumb fuck.
Don't go top. Don't go top. Nice. He's going to land in Bowser's, Bowser's base. Ah, damn it. Ah, dude, I seriously need those four minutes. I don't know how I lost it, and I don't know how I gained it, but... It was here and here and then gone just like in, just like that. It's not what I needed right now, dude. Fuck. I got death standing. <laughs> you mean death stranding? <laughs> what the? F is that is that some is that the sequel to the game? Instead of death stranding, you're just death standing. Yeah, it's basically just a walking simulator. You're a FedEx guy or an Amazon guy on Prime Delivery, and you gotta deliver the packages in one day. Yeah. I've never heard of death standing though. <laughs> Ah, oh, Christ, where did this time save go? It's a pretty good game for a walking simulator, yeah. Oh. I know I joke about it, but chat, there seriously is a choke algorithm that's activated every last five turns. And I can't fucking seem to beat it. I'm always losing time. Boondock Saints meets Metal Gear Solid. Oh, nice. That's a good movie, too. I remember seeing Boondock Saints. Good movie. If, he, if Yoshi hits three, I'm gonna smack a bitch. There we go. Should we get back, get back more time here? If I don't, if I don't hit a double, at least. Yeah, I'm so far behind on world record. Never mind. If this does green, then it'll just be a PB. Motherfucker. Yeah, just fuck you in general. I'm just not going there. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure. That's cool. That's cool. I don't say anything besides Bowser space, you fuck. Ah, oh, Luigi. Chance time? Nice. Chance time. Poggers. Lose more time. With chance time. Brought to you by Hasbro.
Ah, get fucked, pussy. Okay, it could have been shorter, but fuck it. I just realized, imagine how, how terrible the speedrun is for Death Stranding. The entire game is just a giant walking simulator, so the speedrun is just walking everywhere. Oh, that must be bad. Do it? No. Like, I'm, li I'm willing to, sharp to sharpen pencils for 50 hours, but to speedrun a game where you literally just walk? No. No. Even I have my limits. <laughs> yeah, fuck you trying to land on the question mark space, bitch. Oh, you climb too? Oh my god. How innovative. Not only do you walk, but you climb? Oh my god, the game is amazing. 10 out of 10, Death Stranding. Oh my god. Oh, and you take care of a baby. Wow. So many levels. So deep. I'm 14 and this is deep. Alright, that's a fat looking PB right there. Oh, thanks for the follow. Pudding boxes. Nice name. Big love for the support, man. Thank you. You showed up just in time. I'm about to PB by uh, a fat almost three minutes. Boom. It's that easy. Too easy. Too easy. It may have taken me a whole week to do it, but it's that easy. <laughs>